this video, we are going to show you how to set up the ICAM DVR with your computer. First, connect a USB to your computer USB port. Next, insert a software CD into your computer CD-ROM drive. And you will see this autoplay message comes on. And then just simply click run autorun.exe. And then you will see this initialization screen. And then just simply go ahead and click installed super DVR. And then you got this message says, do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Click yes. And then this screen says, welcome to SuperDVR setup. Click next. And then here it says select video format, then press next to install driver. Um, if we are in US or North America, just choose default setting, which is NTSC, and click next. And right now it is installing driver. And this window that says choose destination location, uh, the default destination folder is C program backslash program files backslash super DVR backslash super DVR. If you don't wish to change the destination folder, simply click next. If you wish to change the destination folder, click browse. But in this video, I'm gonna leave it as a default that destination folder, so I'm going to click next, and then next, and right now we, it is 70% uh, complete. And then this window it says install shield wizard complete and go ahead and click finish. And since now the installation is complete, so I'm going to click exit to exit this uh, GUI screen. And after the installation is complete, on your desktop, you will see a shortcut that says Super DVR. And just simply double click the shortcut to bring up the Super DVR software. In this video, we are going to show you the basic configuration of Super DVR software. Click the lock icon to log in. The default username is system and there is no password. So leave the password blank and click OK. After click OK, you will see those four icons become available. This is EMAP. This is search and playback, this is configuration, and this is PDC control. Let's click on configuration. The first thing to configure here is to choose which drive or partition to store the recording files. In this video, we choose C. And to turn on override, check recycle. Next, let's move down to this section. If you want to continuous recording, check 
menu record and you can set the frame rate here the default is 30 frames per second if you want to record on certain day and certain time check schedule record and you can set the frame rate here the default is 15 frames per second if you want to motion detection recording check motion detection and you can set the frame rate here the default is 30 frames per second if you want to use the remote access feature simply check net service